cracker box of Ixalan. Um, because I feel like I need to do something a little bit different. So, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to crack this, this, this old box here, uh, in our chase for a Jace. Um, we've opened the equivalent, I think, even with drafting, with, uh, us doing community events on behalf of, uh, MTG and Wizards at PAX. I think we've opened close to probably our case, um, and I have not seen a single Jace in all of that stuff that we've opened. It's probably not all been from the same case though, which I guess kind of makes it a little bit hard. Um, but today is all about chasing for the Jace. Now I do have chat open so I can see you and I can talk to you and I don't mind doing that. Um, if you're watching this on the playback or on YouTube, hit that subscribe and follow. Uh, if you're on YouTube, hit subscribe. If you're here, uh, just hit follow if you don't want to. Uh, pay that subscription and that's fine. If you're with uh, Amazon Prime, uh, you can subscribe to me for free. If you haven't subscribed to anyone else, you could use that on here. Uh, and that's great because we always appreciate it. Other than that, do what you want to do. Hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe. Because the, the more interaction you have with me, the better off. I feel and the more of this sort of stuff that I can do um, because it's incredibly hard obviously to give you any content or the premium content that I want to give you without getting the views without getting people in um, so let's do this uh, yeah okay no that's fine so what we'll do is we'll go straight for the spice here um, we're gonna go straight for ooh, the foils and rares let me just double check here because I'm using a new setup. Uh, we should go one, two, three. Uh, three. There we go. Okay, so you're going to see the card over here, the price up there, and me over here. So we're just going to use TCG Player Mid um, because that seems like the best thing to do. And something just went off. I think I just got a flow from somebody and I can't see it because it's under my overlay. I should have thought about that. I'm so sorry. It'll come up on my phone though. So, uh, Draftaholics was apparently not following me. That's depressing. <laughs> uh, friends at Draftaholics Anonymous, go and check them out because Draftaholics Anonymous are great folks. They're very cool indeed. Uh, what did I do with that box? Because I'm going to need a way to, uh, Put this somewhere. <laughs> it comes up with battlefield tapped. Oh, that's really annoying. All right, so our first one is a glacial fortress. Um, not terrible, not great, but uh, nonetheless, it is a rare, uh, and it is a great land. So I think we'll just put the rares and mythics over here for now. We're going to crack through this entire box and see if we can't uh, chase for a Jace. Probably should bring the chat back up. I'm so sorry. It was me! Thank you, Draftaholics. Alright, so our foil is a Call to the Feast. And our rare is a Dead Eye Tracker. That ended up eventually doing anything? Nah, not really. Regular. 119. There was a lot of talk about this card, and then it just kind of died. It went nowhere. Uh, people were talking about playing it in modern, but it's not really playable? It's not that great. It really isn't. Um, let's sh shift uh, a little bit closer to the mic. It is very hot here in Melbourne at the moment. Oh, the foil is around the wrong way. Oh, that's why. Okay, sure. Uh, oh, foil rare. Death Gorge Scavenger. And this is so foily. Uh, and our actual rare, if you want to call it. Uh, is Argyll's Bloodthirst? Bloodfast. Ah, Bloodthirst, Bloodfast, same thing, that's fine. Oh boy, it is really hot. Um, interesting thing here is that this card just sees pretty much no play, um, which is really sad, because... Sorry? Sideboard standard. Side sideboard in standard? There you go, Donna says sideboard standard. Uh, but no main deck play, which is uh, 
fine. I think that it's in the from the bolt transform maybe. I don't know. I haven't actually bought it from the fault transform this time around. Fleet Swallower. Yeah. I'm sure that this card will be uh, eventually played in one of my jank commander decks. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I, I, I don't think so. I don't think I can make a deck around it that will actually work. Uh, we have a Conqueror's Galleon. Hey, walk the plank. Whoop, uh, hey. You can only see half of my screen because of where I've got shut up. Wow, 42 cents. This, uh, so far is a <laughs> pretty tragic box. This is why you don't crack boxes for value. Just never do it. Rowdy Crew. One dollar. One dollarino. That's, uh, that's great. That's very adding crew, right? Okay, next one up is a Shadowed Caravel. This set, um, so it's really funny because I thought this set was amazing when I first started drafting it. Um, as time goes on, the more uh, obvious the lines become when drafting this set. And the less I actually enjoy drafting it, um, which is pretty terrible. Speaking of terrible, here's our mythic. Overflowing Insight. Yep. Look at that mythic rare. 81 cents US. Oh boy. I mean, it's I guess it's EDH playable, right? In casual EDH. Uh, we have a treasure map. Dead Eye Plunder is now. Yeah. Dead Eye Plunder is really good. It's actually quite quite good. Um, treasure map, of course, turns into Treasure Cove. One place on Ixland you really want to visit just for the treasures. Because pirates, I guess. Did I mention how hot it is here? Okay, good. Because uh, it's quite hot. Uh, we've got a Verdant Sun's Avatar as our next card. Again, we're looking at probably the worst box I think I've opened of Ixalan, perhaps, at this point. Um, we're almost a third of the way through the box. Uh, and there's not really been anything massively spicy except for the, the Gorger, I guess. Uh, Herod of the Secret Streams. Perfect. That's a thing that kind of went nowhere at the moment, huh? Hopefully in the next set. I'm banking on it. I may or may not have a private stash of Mervoic stuff. MTG Arena should be coming out, uh, well, coming out soon into beta, so that'll be interesting. Ah, to cut Lee, to cut Lee on a guard. It's fine. Um, oddly enough, this box has already yielded two walk from the planks. Uh, funny story about this. Uh, we were opening crap loads of packs, and I think we weren't cracking any Walk the Plank. So, uh, we found them to be one every, what, approximately two boxes-ish? Which was really bizarre. Like, just terrible. Um, and now, I feel like the box odds have changed in the later boxes in their second print run. Uh, we have a Rip It Jaw Raptor. Chicken! Draws cards, it's fine. It's not terrible. Four mana for a full five. Make for a great blocker. Good attacker too, but... You can ping it yourself, even better. Deal with damage, draw some cards. Value, value, value. Uh, ooh, growing rights of it Lamok. Of course, is uh, still talked about to be the next budget version of Gaia's Cradle. I don't know why I said next. It's, it's basically just what it is. Whee! Six dollars ten. Yeah, that's not bad. Could be worse. Traded off a whole heap of them recently, actually. I don't even 
realize how much they cost. Created a whole bunch of uh, extra cards. Uh, speaking of mythics, Gisha, Sun's Avatar, Gisha, Gathath, I'm sure we could have given it a better name, right? Rather than Gishath, Gathath, Bathal. Can't even say the name right. Chase for Jace. Uh, we have a Revel in Riches. It's like a fun card, and then you realize that Mechanized Production is just so much better. So much better, though. Not in the box, outside the box. Um, it just didn't really make its way into, like, it was going to be a combo deck, and then people tried it, including myself, and it just didn't work, and we thought it was going to be really great, and it wasn't. Uh... Maverin Fane Dusker Puzzle has severely dropped in price because it's just kind of average but not terrible. It's played in the Vampire deck, I believe. Um, could be worse. Could be worse. He says, and then he's probably going to crack for the worst card. Um, yeah, close enough. Another mythic, Boneyard Parley. Parley? Speak about your mythics that are worth nothing. The set is full of them. Next one, next one. Priest of the Awakening Sun. And hey, Lightning Strike. Again, this card just kind of like came and went like a flash in the pan. No one actually played it. It's one of those things where people went, oh, that could actually be really good. And then went, oh, it's actually kind of not. That's just kind of doesn't, doesn't really do anything. One of my favorite parts of pieces of art from this set, other than the Sad Islands for Sad Jace. Boneyard Catacombs. Surprisingly, well, I should say unsurprisingly, the lands uh, that were originally pretty. They, I think they went around to like $2 US or $3 US, and now they've gone way back up. Nah. Our foils are planes. Don't even need to stick that under the card reader. Excuse me, card reader. Shaper's Sanctuary. Another card that did pop up in some decks. Um, and has been touted to be actually surprisingly good. Because of card draw. We're almost two thirds of the way through the box. No drop frames is nice. Ugh, Vanquish's Banner. Or I should say... Very much an EDH card. That's surprising. Why is it $2? Does anyone know? I don't know either. I've got no idea. $2 seems a bit weird. Back to the other pile. Oh boy. No Jace. I think we've already hit through like, what, two of our mythics? Uh, we've got a Foil Dusk Legion and a Red Knot. Ooh, whole 38 cents on the mid. Uh, and an Angrath Marauders. Which I've not seen played in any decks at all. Which, to be honest, like, I thought that we would see it in something, but I think the cost is just too great. Like, seven, 7 mana is just way, way too much for this effect. Um, but I have a feeling that Wizards didn't want to make it uh, an enchantment or something, because we've seen in the past, like, uh, Ample of Bogarden and stuff like that, where it's just been, like, smashed, absolutely smashed everything. Uh, we have a Ruin Raider. This little guy's alright. Pretty cheap. Full of 14. And that is two-thirds of the box gone. 
onto the last third of the box. The final. And we still don't have our Jace? No. Uh, instead... No, not you. You. We have a rootbound Crag. 3 dollars 86 in the mid. That's fine. I wonder if this card reader is going to keep track of how much, and then we can, like, do a total at the end. I'll have to check that in a minute. Here's another mythic. Tishana, Wiss of Thunder. This is why you don't open boxes for value. Uh, but we have a lot of stuff planned. So, uh, on the 3rd of December, we have uh, Explorers of Excellence stream over at uh, twitch.tv forward slash uh, and we're going to be playing that with uh, myself and JLo from Clicky Sticks and Brad and I'm pretty sure Lady Danger or XX Lady Danger XX on, uh, on Twitter from the Path Pamp Pamp Planeswalker Pantheon. Uh, here's something that should have been better. Repeating Barrage. Uh, this turned out to be pretty bad. Uh, we all were hoping that we would see a new burn deck. Um, but again, just didn't hit the mark. That's not even a joke. Uh, we'll also be doing uh, Betrayal at Baldur's Gate. Yes, um, that will also be on December the 3rd as well. Uh, we've got an Emperor's Vanguard. Um, yeah, so that'll also be December 3rd. That's thanks to Wizards of the Coast, and we will be going live from NLG Mooney Ponds. So that will be great. Uh, then on December the 17th, we will be doing a sealed two-headed giant of Unstable. Uh, thanks to NLG Mooney Ponds. Fathom Fleet Captain! That's cool. I want to make a pirate deck. Uh, and there's a freebooter. Which is great. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm really itching to get back to board game stuff. Um, and in the next... Probably the next couple of months, we'll try and figure out where that's going to officially be located constantly. Because um, all of the commander stuff is generally on Brad's channel. Uh, because that's the agreement I have with him. Uh, but the board game stuff, I might have a chat to some other streamers about. Because I don't like having the board game stuff on my own channel, because I want to share the love. Uh, Walker of the Wilds, this saw a zero play. People try it, and it's just, there's not really a deck for it. Um, don't know if there will be, uh, as of the next set, there could be, but at this point, it's just a trash rare. Speaking of trash rares... Arcane Adaption. Hello, Arcane Adaption. There we go. Slightly more expensive though, somehow. I guess people slightly use it slightly more in the uh, the EDHs. Uh, we never ran, got around to do Planeswalker versus this time, which made me kind of sad. Um, I do have Planeswalker decks. But uh, we just haven't had time because we've been planning all the other stuff outside of this. Harrison's Chalice in foil. 26 cents. Yay. And... Sun Petal Grove. Uh, this hasn't changed price at all. That's, that's a thing. Uh, it's remained around the $2 mark for the whole time. Despite the fact that it... Uh, you, we were expecting that it would actually kind of go up. There's not really been a deck for it. So, it's not really hit. Speaking of things that were crap and didn't hit. Old Growth Dryads. I am so sick of pulling these like you would not believe. These are the trashiest of the trash. Um, somebody made it for some sort of purpose, I'm sure. But none of us have figured out what that purpose actually is. Um, what's that foil here? Commune with dinosaurs. Well, I guess that's not so bad. 
when you get uh, Legion's Landing, $5.22 on the mid, uh, which is great because I think Donna needs one of those for her Vampire token deck. So she's going to love that. No search for Azkanta. We're down to two boosters and no Jace. So that's the thing. That's really frustrating. And we've got <sighs> Thematic Compass. That's not a Jace. It's not a Jace, you guys. Your folks, your girls, your everythings. <sighs> Man. Gonna go back to playing Pokemon, I think. <laughs> Captain Lenary Storm. No Jace. Our search for the Christopher Scase, I mean the Jace, has turned up empty. Yeah, empty handed. That is it. That is all she wrote. That was a full box of Ixalan. And, uh, that's, that's, that wasn't the best. That was not the best. Uh, let's see. Does it have a total somewhere? Do do do. Do do do. I did it a papala. Will it show price history? No. Oh, sorry. You're getting to see all the uh, <laughs> the background stuff. I I apologize. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything in here. I'm sorry. Uh, stats. No, no, no. But now it's decided that it doesn't want to work with the webcam. <sighs> well, we tried and we failed. We failed again. That's pretty sad. Uh, I really thought that we would hit it off, but unfortunately, no Jace. So, there we go. Other stuff. That's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, just remember that you can always check out Urza's Trade House on Facebook.com forward slash Urza's Trade House for all of your TCG and CCG needs. Urza's Trade House are our proud sponsor this month um, and continue to be awesome and do the stuff. You can also catch my writing and stuff. Eh. What just happened? Switch. Thank you. <laughs> oh boy. Wah. That's why, because I put it on the wrong one. That's fine. You can also catch my writing over GoTo.Game. GoTo.Game, where we write about MTG, we write about gaming news, gaming reviews, movie reviews, and sometimes TV shows. You can catch me there, because my writing is amazing, and you should read it. You should read it a lot. A lot, a lot. Other than that, that's, that's it from us. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Remember to comment on down below uh, what awesome pulls you've had for Ixalan. Have you had a foil, Jace? I hate you if you have. I really just hate you. But thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And remember, keep cracking packs. For draft, not for value. That doesn't work.